from Mount Pleasant Zone. This is New Central 34 at 5. Good evening and welcome to New Central 34. I'm Alex Decker. And I'm Tom Whitaker. And now we're going to visit Jason Achu outside for a weather update. Thanks. We had plenty of snow move through the area with that storm coming through. If we go ahead and take a look at our regional radar, you can see that large area of snow moving across the state and us getting plenty of that snow here in central Michigan. And if I show you just a few totals out there for us, we had 12 inches over in Harrison. We had 5.1 inches in Mount Pleasant and Lansing showing 4.6 inches. And if we look at some video right now, we can see over in downtown Mount Pleasant, we had those slushy roads out there with the crews trying to keep up with the snow, but people still out there, plenty of school closures as well. Mount Pleasant Schools and Sigrid Heart Academy, just some of the few that closed down today. I'll have more coming up in your forecast on what's happening this weekend and for the rest of the week as well. Alex? Thanks, Jason. After 24 years of service, Isabella County Prosecutor Larry Burdick will not run for re-election. Burdick served six terms with the county, the longest in Isabella County history. He has been with this office for over 30 years, starting as an assistant to Joseph Barberi in 1981. The Morning Sun is reporting that he is also wrapping up his service as the president of the Prosecuting Attorneys Association of Michigan. Burdick feels his time has come to seek other opportunities and move on, but he is honored to have served the people of Isabella County. After a timely investigation, the suspects in the armed robbery of the Citizens Bank in Leroy, Michigan have been arrested. Michigan State Police, Osceola County Sheriff's Office, and the Lake County Sheriff's Office found the two male suspects late last evening and are being held in the Osceola County Jail on charges of armed robbery, unlawful driving away of an automobile, and felony firearms. The suspects are currently awaiting arraignment, Antorum, and the candidates are neck and neck within margin of error. The Mitchell Research Rosetta Stone poll has Romney with 36%, while Santorum is behind at 33%, although both candidates fall within the margin of error in a dead heat. Presidential hopeful Ron Paul is currently behind both Romney and Santorum. Paul will hold a rally Saturday evening on the CMU campus at Placta Auditorium at 6 p.m. Thirteen deaths have, been, deaths have been tied to a chemical used in bathtub refinishing. Researchers at Michigan State University found that the deaths have been tied to people using methylene chloride to strip paint from residential bathtubs. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control issued a warning yesterday telling consumers to avoid the harmful, the harmful chemical. Methylene chloride is used in de degreasers and paint removers in both industrial and home improvement products. Three of the deaths were reported right here in Michigan. What do you say, Dave? Thanks for watching New Central 34. I'm Tom Whitaker. And I'm Alex Decker. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Have a nice night.